If you've watched my Pixar and Best Animated Feature ranking, you'll probably already know that I do not like Brave. <gasps> this movie came from an era of Pixar films ranging from incredible to extremely mediocre. There's whale poo, and then there's you. And looking at this lineup of movies, yeah, the 2010s were definitely a very hit and miss decade for Pixar, and Brave was definitely not one of their best. 2012 was the year that Disney and Pixar decided to switch roles for some reason. And while Disney drowned in success with the release of Wreck-It Ralph, a movie that copied Pixar's formula, Pixar's Brave, a movie that copied Disney's princess formula, drowned in hatred. And it still is. So with all that out of the way, here's why Brave did not work. <laughs> The biggest problem with Brave is that it feels generic. Its plot feels too predictable and too familiar to stand out as its own original, subversive thing, if that's what it was set out to try to be. The movie stars a princess of a kingdom. Gee, where have I seen that before? But she doesn't want to be a princess and instead wants to live free. She's spirited and adventurous. Gee, where have I seen that before? She has to be forced to marry someone without her consent. Gee, where have I seen that before? One thing leads to another, and her mother turns into a bear. Gee, where have I seen that before? Actually, that last one really pisses me off, because that wasn't even a good movie! And you copied that, too? How could you copy something that already failed nine years ago? That's the story for you. It's nothing new. And the worst part is that the movie tricks you into thinking that it's gonna be good. When the trailers for Brave first came out, no one really knew what to expect of it. At the time, it looked like it was going to be very interesting, and the trailer showed. It didn't look like anything that Pixar had ever made before. The tone looked darker, the animation looked great, the environments were different. It had some elements of mystery and fantasy and lore thrown in. It looked like something that would have the chance to blow audiences away. So ultimately, audiences got more and more excited, and when it finally premiered, it was not good. I mean, its critical reception was okay enough, and it did make tons of money at the box office. But yeah, it definitely wasn't looked upon as fondly as Pixar's best. There is some stuff that's good, but overall, there's a lot of stuff that feels messy and a little rushed. I heard the film underwent some bad production, like it was tossed from one director to another, and yeah, you can feel it here. And it's so frustrating because it could have and should have been so much better. The setup is great. The opening 10 minutes really build up the mystery. Even though it feels formulaic, you eventually end up liking Merida and her weird family. They have this cool backstory about these four kingdoms that fell to war, which by the way was extended in that little short they released a year after. Merida does the exact same thing that the prince does in the story and decides to change her fate to keep her freedom. Everything seems to be going well, and when she finally does change her fate, the mother turns into a bear. <sighs> hey Disney, can you do us all a favor and stop turning your main characters into animals? It's getting really tiresome at this point. Like, you did it with... Wait, wait, let me see, let me see. You did it with Emperor's New Groove. You did it with Brother Bear. You did it with Princess and the Frog. You did it with Soul, and then and in this movie too. And turning red, too. But, you know, at least that one made sense because, you know, it's just ancestral family inconvenience. But you get what I'm talking about. Stop that now. But, yeah, the movie changes its tone so fast. Literally after the mother gets turned into a bear, it just becomes a dumb kid's movie immediately. And it's such a waste of a concept that had so much potential. Don't get me wrong, I like some moments, like when Merida and Eleanor are fishing together or when King Fergus thinks he smells a bear in the castle, and it just kind of leads to like this big misunderstanding kind of chase scene. That was pretty funny. When they actually do touch on some of the mystery and lore elements, it's very interesting. But overall, this just felt like a big whatever movie. Until we move into the ending. This is where the movie really starts to stand out, at least for me. 
There's a twist that moves its way into the plot that if they don't turn the mother back into a human in time, her mind and body remains the animal she is, a bear. That's actually a really good twist that I think works well, especially when we move into the resolution, where the movie kind of has the characters switch their original roles and personalities. Merida, the more adventurous and violent character, uses peace and logic to calm everyone down, and Eleanor, the more peaceful and logical character, uses violence to crush the demon bear from the legend by toppling over one of the standing stones. And then in the end, everyone agrees that Merida will decide who she'll marry once she's ready. I thought that was a really unique thing that they added in that didn't feel too on the nose or in your face. Plus, the final battle is badass. But the downside is that these parts unfortunately don't make up for the film overall feeling too uninspired. In the end, I liked the main characters. I thought some of the magic elements they did touch on were really cool. But man, it's just got so much stuff in it that holds it back from being really good. At least in my opinion. If you're one of the few people out there who actually does like Brave, that is awesome. Just don't don't attack me, please. I I, I can't I can't take any internet hate right now. Please. Just just no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No.